So your Cypress installation is done and you want to start to write your first test as it is in the documentation. So I'm going here to Visual Studio Code and I copied that test and I want to actually start to write tests like they have it in the getting started. So I want to do some UI automation. And well, believe it or not, when I enter CI, I get crypto. I mean, it's good that Visual Studio Code tells me to buy crypto. Apparently, there's a thing now. Um, but I want to do test automation. And how do I get this auto completion here? Well, there are a couple of ways to do it. There's the easy way, which you have to repeat, and there's the easy way, which you only have to do once. So I'll show you both. One way to do it is to copy this import, or actually it's not an import, to copy this comment in each and every test file or specs file, which you're going to have from now on. So I copied the comment and now I can do ci.visit. I have information regarding the actual methods, so I'm good to go. But you can, of course, see, well, this might become tedious in the long run. And there's another way to do it, which is more simple. And this is also described in the documentation, but it's a little bit hidden if you want. So you go to tooling, ID integration, and you scroll a little bit way to the middle. And here it says, instead of adding the triple slash directive to each JavaScript spec file, some IDEs, like Visual Studio Code in this case, understand common JS config. So we just copy this information, this JSON, and we create in the root, so where you have your Cypress, you have here, you create here a JS config file, and you just paste that include statement. And let me remove this one and this one. And now let's try it. Oh. Of course, I need to reopen it. CI. Okay, we didn't save it. Okay. CI dot visit and now we have all of the information without having to actually um, enter the co the uh, comment in all of our JavaScript files. And if you want to use TypeScript, there's also the indication. So you create a TypeScript configuration and you copy this information over here. I hope you liked the first video from the Cypress Tips and Tricks series. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.